welcome to this video this is lecture number 7 or part 6 to solve the supplement is solve the problem of uh, electrostatic magnetism written by Vasudev Gose okay we already covered up to, uh, uh, five part that is 5 into 10 50 question uh, solved uh, 50 question are solved in the previous lecture you can refer to the <coughs> link given in the description box okay so in this video we want to solve another five question actually uh, so let's start with question first question says the potential as a given region is given here this is the potential calculate the total charge enclosed within the cube in this is q so you need to find out the total charge enclosed so, so from uh, potential you can get the electric field just minus grad phi you will be get this electric field right and <coughs> for using uh, Gauss theorem, you can find out the e dot ds equal to q by epsilon naught, that is q enclosed equal to epsilon naught e dot ds. You can use the uh, divergence theorem of the vector analysis, you know this so well, that is the closed surface integral can be written as the divergence dv. So, you can find out the divergence, this is c, you will find out divergence equal to this. If you put this value and integrate over this region, this is the cube, that is x, y, z, uh, 3 are varies from 0 to 1. So, if you put this value, you will be get the answer, okay. Go to the next question. Suppose there is a circular hole of radius A of center of the infinite plane sheet. This is an infinite plane sheet. In this, there is a hole that is radius A and the sheet will be charged uniformly that is sigma per unit area find the potential at the axial distance x from the center so you need to find out the potential at a distance x for that you need to know about the potential for the infinite plane sheet and a circular disk right for infinite plane sheet the electric will be like that and the potential will be integrating you will, will be get this value this is the potential for a distance x of a infinite plane sheet now the for a dx the potential will be like that if you just integrating this you will be get this value this is the value of uh, a potential of a dx right since the dx is uh, cut out so this this much potential will be minus out from this total value so this is total value and this will be the value will be minus this is the potential at distance x right go to the next question n equal charge are placed at the corner of a regular polygon of n side this is the n side and there is a uh, n regular uh, this will be n so using coulomb's law find the electric field at the polygon is zero so you can take the two axis x axis and y axis and along the x axis the electric field for the charge will be like that if you take this one charge along this axis so the electric field will be like that and the along the y axis the electric field component will be like that. this is the cos component and this will be the sine component and total this uh, ex will be total ex will be zero and total ey also zero since the total electric field will be zero at that point okay go to the next question two particle uh, each of mass m carrying charge q suspended by the massless string this is a string and two part charge particle are suspended uh, length L and uh, common point uh, theta will be the angle string on the vertical with the vertical the angle will be theta so you need to uh, write down this so here you can see here that is the force between these two charge particle will be this uh, since this is L and this is theta so this will be L sin theta so total distance will be 2L sin theta right and from the vector component we can see here this t will be t cos theta and t sin theta for equilibrium this t cos theta will be mg and t sin theta will be f so if you take and the divided sin theta by cos theta you will be get this and putting the value of f you will be get this relation very easily okay uh, go through this calculation for any query you must comment in the comment box go to the next question the electric field of a region given here this is the electric field find the equation of the lines of force at z equals to 0 okay at z equals to 0 so this is the equation of lines of force actually there is a dz by e 0 but here z equals to 0 that portion will be neglected only take this two portion and ex will be here 8x and ey will be minus 4y put this value integrating you will be get this equation that is the equation of the lines of force I think clear for any query you must comment in the comment box 
this is all about me and this is my contact details and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get the other video uh, you may help from this video okay so take care we will meet on the next video as soon as possible uh, i think in this next video we want to solve the problem given in the dj griffith electrodynamics dj griffith we want to solve this question also uh, so that's it thank you